呃，大家中午好，很辛苦大家啊，就是没有去吃中午饭，我来来这个会场。And thank you coming, thank you for coming and for listening about the containerized exploration road、uh, in city banks. And some of our were successful practices. So first, actually in banks. Currently, we attach great importance on fintech, and this is also a future trend. And in City Bank, China City Bank, actually the same with other banks, we have two requirements. First is our business mode; it needs to be innovated, and the second is the technological transformation. And that is because. In banks,、uh, we are now facing with a changing market, and it mainly targeted at、uh, some certain groups of users or clients. For example, the young people generation. And for this young generation, their life and they they were born in the era of internet, so that is why they seldom go to the bank. Uh, actually, for our generation, I'm I was not born、uh, before. I was not born after 1990. But actually, I also seldom go to the banks to do, have some businesses or transactions. You can use your my your iPhone or your、uh, apps applications to have some payment. To have some financial activities. For banks, it is also the same case because previously. Banks they compete with each other through co-banking, and who can deal with address with the transactions rapidly, and who can shorten the time for the clients for the customers to wait. But currently, actually, we seldom go to those physical banks, and for banks, their businesses and their financial services is actually a power. To drive the technological development, and it also immersed into every aspect of our life. For example, the scenario of payment, or when you are selling something, or when you are paying for something, and all those payment systems, they will. How、uh, they can provide some services from the backup system from the bank, for example, to evaluate your capability and evaluate the risk of financial risk. So these are some forefront and and forefront terminal that matched with the back terminal of the bank. So for such kind of financial services, after it has been immersed in all aspects of our life, it also needs to keep pace with the future trend and the current development to adapt to the newest financial scenarios. Technologically speaking, actually, the driven power comes from, for example, the、uh, waterfall. Process of development and its architecture, application architecture. For example, the SOA and microservices, like the suppliers from the bottom to the top, this kind of system. And for the consultation and the services scenarios, after they have been changed. They also requires us. We need to have a fast changing technologies. The past culture, they are not bad. We do not say they they are not good. We are saying that they needs to be adaptive to the new trend. So based on Kubernetes, based on the container technology, also to combine and integrate the agile development process. So that we can come up with some flexible and agile process to adapt to the scenarios that I've just mentioned, and for some traditional scenarios, we can use some traditional ways of development. So, I think we need to、uh, have both pathways to deal with the current situation. But actually, the digital transformation of the banks are not like the transformation of others. It is not destructive. Because it needs to base on the traditional ways, like the、uh, to balance between the waterfalls and the agile development, like the SOA, the microservices. So all of them are existing, coexisting together. So for banks, the, they need to know how to 
uh, address together with all these scenarios, the traditional one and the newest one. And in our banks, we already have uh, S. But actually, S system mainly solves some historical burden for banks, because in old days, the banks uh, maybe they have various kinds of servers of different brands, and they have different configurations. So for every application, they need to test or they need to calculate what, on what kind of server, what kind of configuration, and what type of brand can we realize. So they need to have such kind of testing for the performance. And for banks, for every testing to evaluate the capacity or the capability, it is quite troublesome. But after we have the container technology, uh, they can do this work um, based on certain specific uh, specification. For example, Java application, it is a part container capability, and it can have such kind of evaluation and estimation. Also, it is scalable. And it can predict how many access, how many visitor access, and how many replicas do we need. And if they are stateful or non stateful, if it is sensitive and transactional and stateful, if we need to use some Redis, that key value database, to have some cache of the state. So for banks, uh, how to balance between the stable system or, and the agile system. I think this is a problem that we will face for a long time in the future, Establish, uh, especially the construction of the S system. And these are some issues that we need to address with. And in Citibank, we provide this platform, the Alauda Cloud. It has four layers. So for the bottom layer, it is uh, helping the existing infrastructure to integrate with each other. For example, the physical host, the virtual machine, and the thing that I just mentioned, based on different as platforms, those virtual machines, and some public cloud and co-located cloud as resources. So this platform should be able to integrate all these resources into a pool so that it can deploy like the clusters like uh, Kubernetes. And the second layer is the container platform. Actually, it is quite challenging for banks because in banking industry, it has different regions. For example, from the dimension of business, it has uh, external connection, the e-bank business, and for its production, it can be divided into the development, cluster, testing, production. So it is, has been divided into different regions and different departments. So that is why when we deploy the Kubernetes, we will encounter the problem of the security access, also the remote ETCD and some database problem. So for in banking industry, normally it needs a multi-Kubernetes cluster environment. And this management platform, the PaaS platform, it is also the same case because it needs it needs to uh, have um, permission or user system to support all kinds of scenarios. And in this multi-environment and multi-Kubernetes cluster, on this platform, it needs to have support for those scenarios. For example, for the application delivery, and this is the capability of the Kubernetes, also for DevOps, from the source code to the image and to the put into operation into practice, and lastly is the microservices. So for every part, there will be some challenges for the banking industry. For example, take the application delivery as an example. 
Actually, Kubernetes uh, provides a lot of functions, but for banking industry, for our banks, for some um, business platforms, actually, uh, they cooperate with some suppliers of the payment system. But if we use the Kubernetes cloud technology, you may encounter that between uh, different services, it may be four layers and it may be different ways of the telecommunication. But if we use not pod in terms of the security uh, access or limit, it will all you will also encounter the problem. So it is based on Enix or F five. We have some customized things so that it can support the gated launch. And the four layers gated launch to ensure that its service can be accessed by four layers. As for the banking industry, the biggest problem is that the bank is just uh, at the beginning of embracing the open source software. So for the internal of the bank, we can find some existing tool chain. For example, the continuous integration code collation, and they have their respective or separate uh, supply chain. Well, for communication that without pressures, in this environment, we recommend uh, like a gate-like registry harbor or some solutions and applications with the best practices. But for the banking industry, you will sell them to replace this, so they will either to dock the devil's fiction to docking with their current uh, supply chain or to imply the Dow chain. And besides, in the front end, they, uh, you must achieve the consistency user experience. So this is a challenge. Well, for the top level, for the topest level, is the IT governance layer. This is not the service permission, but also the permission. But for the multi-Kubernetes cluster management, we want to have the multi-role management, and we want to have multi-tools, and then select a different GitLab Probes, projects for different objects, and all of this must be integrated management on your platform. So for the banks, it's hardly for them to have a current product or finished product for their environment. More or less, they want the customization. So this is a problem posed for uh, banks. Well, for questions or challenges, when we deliver the open source project to users, we may encounter many problems. For example, the network uh, plans of the images synchronized and the production. And for the provision management, when next to the container or ESTC, so whether the uh, permission should be high or low level. And all the banks, uh, banking clients, they talk of these problems quite more, uh, quite often. They want to explain all the supply, all the solutions that in the community, and they want to know the bottlenecks they might encounter in the future. Usually, the discussion may comes to dozens of times in the division for the production team or maintainers or different teams they want to be engaged in this discussion because it's decided whether uh, whether the production will be put into practice so it's quite important to well for the image synchronized to the production because banks have a quite strong supervision which is different from other companies for other companies the uh, uh, R&D platform just to launch the code and uh, directly launch it. But for banking industry, it is prohibitively uh, restricted. While for our bank, we have a quite aggressive approach. So for the banking 
industry? How can we solve the images synchronization? And how can we just transmission the images to different units and departments, which is quite troublesome? Well, the problems is just to go beyond these aspects. For example, the operating audit internal the containers. For example, we want to have some commands in the container. Whether this command have been pre-audited, because banks have a quite a high level or high requirement on the safety auditing. When we do the online commands and all the parameters, they have to be pre-audited and pre-approved. It's different to that when we encounter an online uh, failout and we just apply for an account for an account and just to do the modification on that, this is not work. This does not work. And when we just type in the command, this command will simultaneously appear on the other devices and that operator will show or will decide whether to approve or reject this command. Only if they approve the command, this command will be truly uh, implemented. So this is the operating audit internal the containers. And besides, we have the application tolerance. Actually, in banking industry, we have A, B, C, D, four levels, and we now just introduce the A plus level. This shows the importance of different business. Well, for some high level or advanced applications, we want to have the two, uh, two levels, centers or other guarantee measures. And we want to have the cluster and the management platform to based on the Kubernetes, or whether we need to introduce another mechanism to multi-manage this cluster all the copies of these applications at the different places. We need to have some design and implementation plans for that. Well, besides, we have the platform hard upgrade, which is quite common for the banking industry, since we know that the Kubernetes version upgrade is quite uh, uh, is quite regular, common. How to update the Kubernetes nodes for the clients? Whether they have some risks for that. And besides, we have the transition monitoring, which is a focus for the banking industry. Since if we want some transaction happening in the internal or internal, we want to employ some previous uh, method. For example, for our company, we just introduce a package selection strategy. And we need to ensure that this is a business selection or business interaction operation. And with, when this business just interacts with each other, we want to show which size or which parameter of this. And we need to upload this information and analyze these parameters. And we want to schedule the business from A to D and how many times we just returned and how many times we up, uh, updated this information. And what about the success or failure rate? And when this parameter failed to meet the expected value, what kind of or what kind of level of the warning should be issued? And when a significant failure appeared, if that cannot be resolved within half an hour, maybe we want to report it to uh, the heavy unit. You know, all these problems may encounter quite regularly. And when we encounter a financial client, we may encounter different problems. And when we just compare the Kubernetes with Swarm, and one of the advantages of the Kubernetes platform, actually, the operators in the banking industry, they are already familiar with that. They are not focused on this part. They consider about when the upgrading Kubernetes is put into uh, the production, and when it has uh, A-class applications, what would happen or what should we do when we encounter such problems? 
So these problems actually should be taken into consideration if we want to apply the Kubernetes in the banking industry. We should have a pre-solution. And with that, we can communicate with the clients. We just to classify these question or challenges into different levels, like L0, L1, L2. And actually, all these problems just involve many business or many units. For example, we take the network as an example. We usually told to our clients we classify the network model as underlay or overlay. And for the open sheet FDN, and we also have some commercial solutions. Well, for overlay and routing, it may be a hybrid system. For a content, they may have the overlay network. But among these overlay networks, they have a routing approach. Maybe the banking industry require you classify these uh, different models. So we want to show what is a MACV line, what is uh, the tunnel of the overlay or underlay, what is the flannel for the routing. And when we just explain this, actually the clients will be lost to choose which network and to implement the container platform. Well, for each model, actually, it directly influence, uh, affects the application that they will be used. Well, actually, many double or zero class applications developed in the banking industry. This application is quite large scale. Maybe they will share the same uh, provision center. But when I'm uploading the cloud or some modules are already ready, they can perform the CI safety and the non state performance. And they're ready to have the container, but for other services, they might not be ready for uploading these services. For example, the face and print thing recognition services, they're quite related to the external equipment. Well, for these applications in the short time, they are not impossible to be containerized. So I have to make, uh, make a choice whether of these applications or services should be clustered inside or outside the Kubernetes. If it should be inside the Kubernetes, all this information should be registered inside the container. Well, for the when outside the container, maybe they should be registered into the same paper with other approaches. Of all these services outside the container, they can find each other. And when this IP address of these applications can be communicated, or can be communicated, we should address the issues whether the house outside the terminal can be integrated into inside the container. According to the previous uh, practice, all the banking industry clients think the overlay approach is quite uh, good. They think they have not affected their business, but actually for the application level, the overlay approach may not be enough. Or maybe in the future, all these approaches change, uh, are shifting to the routing mode. Well, for the service discovery, when the pods inside a cluster offer the services, they have different approaches like node pod, like queue to proxy, like you can write some ingress controller, and you can double the self framework service discovery all this kind of service discovery you need to be you need to take into consideration but for the kubernetes service discovery and the cube cloud service discovery what are the differences or the similarities between that you need to answer that to your clients since previously the bank industry has not touched the orchestration framework face to the applications. Previously, they just uh, are familiar with the 
the physical servers, physical machines, or the VMs. But for now, they are more focused on the application orchestration. And all of the design must be better integrated into their services. So the banking industry I need to make more efforts on that, and we need to do more explanation to our clients. Actually, we can analyze these problems and make it into more smaller points. We want to see the, whether the clients, uh, the cluster, can cross the VLAN, or when we choose different uh, a most network modes will it affect the transmission performance? For example, the overlay can cross the VLAN, but it needs to compressing or decompressing. Well, for the large or small packages of the banking, the packages inside the banking industry, does it have any influences? And what if? A large number of files inside the same package will the overlay affect the transmission performance. We need to provide the specific solution to our clients. Well, for the size, we know that the Kubernetes support uh, five thousand nodes and fifteen thousand ports. But whether the network mode supports that? Take the flannel as an example. I give you a V a SLR, and for the node. Is actually assigned it to a C level, and we can calculate it that about to 16 nodes were assigned in this cluster. So our clients might want to consider how many nodes can actually be deployed in a cluster, and when is the best recommended pods are operated on the same container, and whether these ports are better operated in one or two containers. Well, for the containers, I, I don't care what uh, which network models you chose. They just focus on whether the internal or, or external nodes I, IP address were selected. Another point to make is. The service, the service discovery, and the uh, gated launch, the load for security. Previously, my service was based on the IP and IP address, so I know that I know about its service and what it can success, what it cannot. So within the container, within the cluster, how can I uh, change those dynamic rules? As you know, the uh, Kubernetes principles. So we will use labels to realize it. But within Kubernetes, you can use labels or based on the OS and some open flow regulations or principles. But in banks, we can control. But we also want to monitor the traffic. So how can you support the S or how can you import the traffic and how can you make the traffic visible or come out from the virtual machines. So these are the problems that we need to consider. And another is about address, the address pool. For specific address uh, applications, maybe we need to have the fixed IP address. And currently, all the banks, they targeted at the IP address, based on the IP address as a label for the identification in order to identify what kind of businesses it is conducting. And fixed IP address, so it's of great help. And the address pool, if it is elastic and after the scaling, if it can be restricted, if it can be based on the phase to have traffic analysis, so all of these problems we also we need to consider. So based on these considerations, we consider all the network plans within the community. Actually, no one is completely perfect. Well, but I think Calico is comparatively perfect, but actually it cannot ha provide network for multi-tenants. But it can identify the IP address. And in banks, in the multi-cluster system, it needs to have multi-tenant because there are many 
uh, resources, resource spaces, and at the same time they are output their capabilities. For example, for their branch banks or for the uh, subsidies for the third party, they need to develop the system, they need to have multi-tenants and the relevant strategies. So if they can um, support this kind of process and to have their own network, well, at present, I think this is um, not feasible, and we do not consider the schemes or plans provided for the multi-tenants. Uh, multi I also want to um, promote the Cube OVN, and this is quickly changed and upgraded, and it mainly solves the several solved several problems, and I think. Uh, it is complementary, for example, first based on the namespace, it has a subnet, and the second, for example, between the subnets, the isolation between the subnets, and the third is fixed IP address, no matter on which nodes, and also QNS. Currently, QNS is a prioritized project that we're working on because for banks, for single nodes, you have different businesses of different levels, and within the limited resources, you need to guarantee those businesses of higher priority. So this is also we need what we need to consider. Another thing is the inserted node balance and some distributed net networks and same space, the entrances. So these are the key points. And you can also join us to uh, cooperate with each other. Next is the topology, the platform topology, when is development testing and the production environment. And you can see we have different sets of management system to manage the Kubernetes, and they have their own assignments. And in testing and development, you can see this cluster. This is a very featured cluster. That is construction cluster. So actually, for banks, only this cluster can access the code rep repos repositories. So that means not all the clusters can access the repositories. And for the production cluster, it has a feature that you can support the multi-clusters, and it can also have some functions of image, image functions. So all of them have such deployment. And in the middle part, it has the this slide, this cluster has the automated testing, and only this can access the production part. For platform, it should also be available because the platforms, are, what level of businesses does it suffer? You need to have the cor uh, corresponding level of the security. For example, uh, like the A business showed on the slide, so the, pr the key points is your monitoring and your database. So these platforms, they need to have the uh, long-term data and the synchronization between different databases. Actually, there is a big change here because this will be based on the cloud-native technology to use the uh, Kubernetes ETCD for some uh, and to use Kubernetes container as our framework for development. So this is our future objective. And this is the DevOps CI CD for banks. They attach importance on the demands. We have SCD DevOps and how to use the code.
but most of us want to know how we conduct the project. So it is not about engineering, it is about project management. And you can see in China City Bank there are systems like this. They have internal system for the project management and for the project design, program design, the environment and the project plan, the repositories of the codes and also the code check, the approval, the testing, the auto automated testing platform. So for production, it is also the same case. This is the DevOps, the process. So basically, we have the uh, developing center, development center and the data center. So only it needs to be approved for one time so that the R&D can execute or implement it. For those uh, stable businesses, you also need to have the PM, the automated and the approval. So within the system, all of them, all of the processes are not manual, are automated. And on this project, still some space for improvement. For example, the are planning for the scaling, and it is not treated as a project; it is treated as a platform right now about its uh, scaling of the resources and phenomenal normalization. Previously, every project they have their own open source platform, but now it has been changed. And they have uh, the businesses organization. For every project, they can organize the uh, businesses. And finally, this is our vision. We want to have the state-of-the-art technology to have the most professional services and to keep a long-term partnership together with our customers and the banks. So this is our slogan as well as our vision. So thank you. Thank you for listening.